but they, but they disappear from my normal view. And so the question then becomes, well, how do, I, how do I actually see the things in the archive? Well, okay, so when you enable these advanced features, you get these kind of these cool multiple features. I mean, you get two by default. Uh, show me everything and everything in the archive. So uh, I can, for example, just sh look at the things in the archive. Uh, I can also, let me go back here. Uh, I can also create my own filter, and I think I showed you this before. So maybe I'll make this a uh, school. There you go. Okay, so I just create my own filter for, for school. Uh, and I can put all kinds of, yeah, I can set all the properties for it. I can say, you know, um, you know things that are, do, when are they due, or, or uh, you know, what, what's the, what, what kind of priority are they, that sort of thing. Uh, and, and then I can choose, you know, I can, I can switch to it. I can say, show me only things in the school. Um, I'm going to... Uh, So I'm going to just create a few more tasks here, uh, some homework type tasks, and I'm going to label them. Okay, so so I enabled the labels, so now you can see I've added more features to this. And you you notice that it started out a pretty simple to-do list, and now because we've enabled some features from the settings, it starts to get a little bit more sophisticated. So you know, we're trying to make it easy for the people who just want a simple to-do list, but but allow people who want to add particular features to, to enable them. So here I'm going to add a new label. That's cool. Okay, so I just added that label. There's another one. And I'm going to do the same thing here. But, but notice that when I type this one in, the CH, okay, so notice how I do it, it gets a code complete. So if you've got like about four or five different labels, it'll prompt you uh, to, to, to auto select the one. So, there you go. It's a little bit easier. You know? I didn't actually hit enter. There you go. Okay. Okay. So now, now that I have two two tasks that are labeled as school. If I go into the school, I need to configure it. So I'm going to say, you know, don't show me all the other stuff. But just only show me the, the the tasks that are labeled as school. Back out of that. Uh, now I'll change it to the school uh, filter, and then if we go back here, you can see the main list is now only showing me uh, items that are labeled as school. So you can label things, you can filter based on those labels. Uh, but we think that's that's pretty pretty good start. Labels archiving. Okay, so I've shown you most of the, the features here. I'm going to go back to my presentation. So let's talk about the business side of things here, uh, because right, uh, one of the one of the aspects of what I've been doing here is a lot of business. Um, I'm actually a developer by trade, and so um, I've had to learn a lot about business as part of my work with software. And uh, so one of the important, maybe the most important thing that you'll you'll decide here is just how do you 
how are you going to charge for it? How are you going to monetize the product? And uh, so, okay, so so the way that, that the model that we're going with is called a freemium model. Um, and that, what that means is basically, for those who aren't familiar with this, is it uh, starts out with a free product, a free base product, and then it attempts to sell you on upgrades uh, for features that you find valuable. Uh, so th this, this is a, for us, is a really good hybrid. It, it, um, basically, uh, I'll talk about it a little bit later, but basically, um, you know, free, product, free products will get a lot of eyeballs looking at your product, and, um, and the price, the selling them on the upgrade is, is a little bit more difficult. So, anyhow. Okay, so this is the model that we do. And we do zero, uh, so we have our basic product, and then some of the add-ons like the near miners and call miners and um, the, the archiving and the labels, we charge $4.99 for, for a set of those, uh, sets of those. And so you, you, you install those separately and it, and it upgrades the software. Unfortunately, if you're going to try to install our software uh, right at this moment, um, in Taiwan, Android market doesn't sell things, and so we, we have, it's not available right now. But we are working on integrating with the S market. So for anybody who's interested, we're, we're hoping to get that out very soon. Here. So um, you, can, you can install this base software right now, and, and then maybe S market will come to the rescue. All right, so how, how's our business going? How, how are things going here? Well, um, I think we've got a, good, a decent start. Um, I promised some graphs here, so I, I'll, I'll show you where we're at. Um, ah, it's cutting it off right now. Okay, so <laughs> let's see. Okay, so these are the downloads, and you know, you can see you can see we kind of get off at a, at a decent start right now. This is per day, so uh, you you can see we were in the area of around uh, what about three uh, three hundred per uh, three to four hundred per, per day. Actually, yesterday was one of our best days. We got five hundred in one day. I have no idea why. I, 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 I've been searching on the internet, trying to find out, like, you know, did we get mentioned in some blog or something like that? I don't know. Just 500 in one day. But you can see that even with no, even with no promoting, you know, each one of these spikes kind of generally corresponds to some sort of promotion that we did, either uh, just, um, you know, going, going on some blog and leaving comments or, or um, getting mentioned by someone. I think this big one right here is someone mentioned us on a, uh, on like a T-Mobile blog or on a T-Mobile discussion forum, and uh, they were, you know, these are my 10 must-have applications, and we got, we got included in this. And we said, oh, you know, all of a sudden we get like, you know, 300, or, you know, 250 people just, just for that one little uh, mention of our product. So um, th this is very, uh, the number of downloads per day is very sensitive to, to the exposure you get on the internet. Um, but like I said, so yesterday we got 500. We're really excited about that. We're hoping every day we'll be at 500, maybe not. So, so that's the number of new new users. This is the number of times people actually view our application each each day. And so sometimes, you know, one person might see our view our application like three or four times, and some people may may not view it at all. But this is actually how many people hit our our home that home screen, the, the list of tasks. And you can see, we're, yeah, we seem to be somewhere between two and two and a half and three thousand people per day are, are actually engaging in our in our software. So this, for us, this is a really important number. The number of downloads is, it's kind of misleading. Uh, you know, people download and then they uninstall, or they download and leave it there. But they, they don't actually use it at all. Um, we, we need we're we're looking for people to use you know to download it and, and actually use it. So this is the number we watch a lot, uh, is a, a, the number of actual views, and. and the growth is pretty good, I think. I think uh, I'm happy with it. <laughs> I don't have a lot. You know, there isn't a lot of numbers, as far as I can tell, online. I mean, unless you're a part of some exclusive access to, you have exclusive access to like the Android marketplace, or you have access to Google, you might be able to get better numbers than this. But I'm not aware. There, there, there are numbers for iPhone, for like the the, the iPhone, or the um, iTunes market, and that sort of thing. But uh, I don't know any really good numbers for Android market. So, um, so I don't know what to compare this to, but like I said, I'm, I'm happy with it. It's growing. It's growing pretty steadily here. So. What's it? Okay. Oh, right, right, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, so, so, okay. So you see these little spikes here, right? Does anybody have a guess as to like what 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 those are? Like why we get a spike every so often? Apparently, this is just Monday. Apparently, people like to use the to-do list 
everybody creates a to-do list on Monday. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I find it interesting, this little kind of, 